Hey there, pirates! Welcome aboard the Anime Nomi channel. Shanks is one of the most mysterious and powerful characters within the One Piece storyline. The title of Yonku places Shanks in a position of prestige and respect, highlighting his significant influence on the seas. In today's video, we will discuss the possible reasons why Akainu harbors a certain fear or even great respect for Shanks, choosing not to confront the Yonku in the past, and even now, in the present. Before we dive into the video, don't forget to smash that like button, give us a thumbs up to unlock your devil fruit powers, and hit that subscribe button to awaken. Now, let's jump into the video. Guys, Shanks' first appearance occurs when he and his crew, known as the Red-Haired Pirates, visit Monkey D. Luffy's hometown. Shanks is initially portrayed as a calm and friendly pirate. However, his true nature is revealed when he sacrifices his left arm to save Luffy from a sea monster. This brave and selfless act leaves a lasting impression on Luffy, shaping the protagonist's journey. Shanks' prominence is tied to his connection with Goldie Roger, the Pirate King. Shanks was a member of Roger's crew before the legendary pirate's execution. He inherits Roger's straw hat, which becomes an iconic symbol in the series. Luffy's straw hat, given to him by Shanks, symbolizes a connection between the past and the present, as well as the promise of a reunion atop the seas. Moreover, Shanks is known for his exceptional combat skills. Even after losing his arm, he remains a formidable figure on the seas. His presence is enough to intimidate other pirates and even some of the most powerful enemies. His hockey technique is particularly notable, further solidifying his reputation as one of the Yonku. Shanks's quest for a world where people can be free to pursue their dreams without restrictions from the world government also adds depth to his character. He serves as a counterpoint to the series' villains, advocating for freedom and adventure. The mysterious aura around Shanks is also fueled by his relationships with other characters, such as Dracul Mihawk, the world's greatest swordsman. His connection with the Gorosei, the leaders of the world government, is another intriguing point, suggesting that Shanks plays a significant role behind the scenes in global politics. The fear of Shanks extends far beyond the boundaries of pirates. Even prominent figures within the navy, like Akainu, the fleet admiral, and one of the most formidable leaders, are not exempt from this fear. Shanks' reputation as one of the Yonku and his historical role as a member of Goldie Roger's crew are factors contributing to the intimidating aura surrounding the red-haired. Akainu is known for his ruthless mentality and pursuit of absolute justice. However, even a man as feared as Akainu shows a certain respect and even apprehension towards Shanks. This dynamic is revealed during the confrontation at Marineford, one of the most impactful events in One Piece. When Shanks arrives on the battlefield in Marineford, after the war between the Navy and Whitebeard's pirates, his presence immediately changes the tense atmosphere. Akainu, who had just defeated Whitebeard in a fierce confrontation, recognizes Shanks' power and surprisingly decides to end the fight. This gesture is not just a display of respect, but also reveals Akainu's apprehension in facing Shanks and his allies. The reason why Akainu retreats in front of Shanks is speculated among fans. Some suggest that Akainu acknowledges the difference in power between them, while others believe that Akainu, despite his ruthless nature, understands the limits of his authority in front of a Yonku. Regardless of the reason, the fact remains that Shanks exerts tremendous influence, capable of making even a fleet admiral step back. The relationship between Shanks and Akainu remains shrouded in mystery. The reason why Akainu chose not to confront Shanks in Marineford is a point of speculation and mystery that continues to intrigue One Piece fans. The clash between Shanks and Akainu occurred after an intense battle between the Navy and Whitebeard's pirates, culminating in the death of the mighty Whitebeard, one of the Yonku. When Shanks appears to interrupt the conflict, the atmosphere is already filled with tension and devastation. The arrival of Shanks on the battlefield is marked by an aura of authority and power that even makes Akainu, known for his ruthless nature, hesitate. Shanks, with his completely serious and determined gaze and an unwavering calm, seems to embody the idea that his presence alone is enough to alter the course of events. The exact reason why Akainu decides not to confront Shanks directly remains an enigma. As mentioned earlier, some suggest that Akainu recognized the power disparity between them, understanding that facing a Yonku in full vigor after an exhausting battle could result in disastrous consequences. Others point to the possibility that Akainu, despite his brutality, 
neutrality respects the unwritten rules of balance between the Yonku and the Navy, avoiding total war. The death of Whitebeard had considerably weakened the Whitebeard pirates, and Akainu, with his strategic mindset, may have pondered the inopportuneness of facing Shanks at that moment. After all, the Marines were also weakened at that time. Even after the events in Marineford, the shadow of apprehension persists in the corridors of the Navy when Shanks's name is mentioned. The influence and power of the red-haired pirates continue to be a source of caution for Akainu. Now that he has become the fleet admiral and the ultimate leader of the Navy after the war, Shanks's reputation as one of the Yonku remains unshakable, and his crew, the red-haired pirates, is feared not only by other pirates but also by the Marines themselves. The mere idea of facing Shanks and his crew causes a certain discomfort even in the bravest hearts of the Navy. Akainu, despite his inflexible mindset, understands the gravity of a direct confrontation with one of the Yonku, particularly with Shanks. The complex relationship between Akainu and Shanks, marked by a tense respect and a mutual understanding of each other's capabilities, continues to shape the balance of power in the world of One Piece. Akainu's caution regarding Shanks reflects not only the red-haired personal power, but also the role he plays in global events and the deeper layers of history. The enigmatic nature of Shanks and his imposing presence in the seas contribute to maintaining tension and suspense around his character. After all, he is considered one of the most powerful pirates and one of the closest to obtaining the greatest treasure in the world. Being an enigmatic character, even his past leads to various theories about his real objectives and his involvement with the Sakai Seifu and the Gorosei. Beyond the respect and apprehension towards Shanks, it is interesting to note that the influence of the red-haired goes beyond raw power. His calmer and more diplomatic approach compared to other Yonku, such as Kaido and Big Mom, suggests that Shanks is capable of maintaining a delicate balance between the chaos of the seas and the stability desired by the Sakai Seifu and the Navy. Shanks currently acts as a peacemaker in the seas, choosing to maintain balance between pirates and marines, avoiding major conflicts that could somehow cause great chaos. Shanks's wisdom in his political interactions, and his ability to preserve peace in certain situations further elevate his figure in the world of One Piece. This aspect of his personality, combined with his unquestionable power, contributes to the uncertainty and respect that Akainu and other Navy leaders have for the red-haired Yonku. Shanks' story continues to unfold, and his presence is constantly felt, even when he is not physically present in certain narrative arcs. The dynamic relationship between Shanks and Akainu, laden with mystery and tension, represents just one intriguing factor facet of One Piece, leaving fans eager for future revelations and developments. In the world of One Piece, where the complexity of relationships between pirates, marines, revolutionaries, and rulers is an integral part of the plot, Shanks remains a central figure whose influence is extremely high, allowing him to shape the political landscape as he desires. His role as a Yonku, former member of Goldie Rogers' crew and mediator of conflicts between powerful factions, adds depth to his personality, making his fame and the fear he inspires resonate throughout the Grand Line. As the story progresses, it is undeniable that Shanks' legacy and his crew will continue to play a vital role in shaping the universe of One Piece. The respect he commands, both among his fellow pirates and the Marines led by Akainu, demonstrates his great power and achievements throughout the One Piece series. That's a wrap for today's content. We hope you enjoyed it and want to share your thoughts on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and catch you in the next video. Take care and stay awesome.